of course, you know, COVID times, I'm trying to watch a lot of movies, um, watch some foreign TV series, you know, like Engrenage, Spiral, and all this other good stuff, and Gamora, and all this other series I've watching. But I'm also trying to make sure that I'm maintaining my reading. Um, I've kind of fallen off the wagon a little bit. It's been a bit tough to kind of concentrate and to kind of keep my motivation up. But with these new restrictions now in place and with the realization that we're probably going to be living under this for another year at best, I thought it best to kind of go out and get some books to sort of tickle my beak and get me back on. And um, of course, I think I've talked about one of the books already, um, The Secret DJ. I've obviously got book one and fortunately book two came in the other day too it was on pre-order it was out of stock so it was looking like i was only going to get it i think next year but somehow they were able to kind of update the order status and i managed to get this the other day so i'm really looking forward to checking that out um so check out my other video regarding that you can see me talking about the secret dj and then i've got two more that i kind of stumbled upon that i kind of got recommended from i think podcasts and stuff i've got a book called the poverty safari understanding the anger of england's underclass the reason why i bought this i just wanted to again gain understanding of england's underclass and also it was kind of uh prompted by the covid response right the fact that the government sort of like purposely disregarded the concerns of people outside of london especially in the north and i kind of went to understand why that is and understand why people outside of the north have a little bit of a um complex and chip of their shoulder and hatred for the people of course that live in the south especially the mps especially institutions like the house of commons and just understand it just have a bit of an understanding regarding it i'm sure this isn't going to explain everything but it's going to be a little bit more illuminating than some articles on the guardian right so that was what one and then lastly i've got all the kremlin's men this is um in response to the recent poisoning um of that uh journalist who's a kind of uh, a, a vladimir putin critic who i think recovered recently and he's been exposing you know the secrets um of the putin regime and i just wanted to understand a little bit more of that fascinating character vladimir putin i recently saw a video of him speaking english that was hilarious so i went to kind of get a bit of understanding about that this is by michaeli zagreb zyger michaeli zyger all the kremlin's been again recommended to me on a podcast inside the court of vladimir putin so those are the four books that i have to read during i guess what the next couple of weeks or next three weeks i'll probably be able to get through all these and then again i'll review them as i go on but definitely trying to get away from being on my phone all the time during covid and trying to maintain this because this was really healthy especially when life was normal having you know going out to lunch and spending an hour especially when yeah when i was when it was normal to work in an office you'd spend i would spend the commute there reading lunchtime reading on the way back reading too so i'd, I'd be getting through like six books a month like easy because you're reading at least like four hours a day you know whatever time i had just waiting if i was in the shop in the queue i'll pull out a book so i put it on my phone i'd be able to tear through books so i want to get back that and just kind of you know explore that side of things and distract myself from uh the scourge of everyday living with some uh entertaining bits of literature so that's what i'm doing going forward that's what i'm doing going forward <laughs>